Ernst Bauma's first Black Hawks goal came at an opportune time as he stuffed in a rebound off a shot from Tommy Wingel's 15 minutes, 36 seconds into the third period that proved to be the game winner in a 4-2 victory over the Coyotes. We had had a few chances around the net, so definitely at that time of the game it was a big goal, Bauma said. It's a nice feeling for sure to get rewarded for that. For Bauma, who the Hawks signed as a free agent during the summer after the Flames released him, it was the 28th goal of his career. It helped the Hawks erase the stench from a video review that again went against them in the second period, when Wingels appeared to put the Hawks ahead 3-1 on a penalty shot at 17-24 of the second period. But upon review of the play, officials ruled goaltender Louis Domingue got a stick on Wingel's backhand forehand move before Wingel's shot the puck, ending the play, since because league rules stipulate no goal can be scored on a rebound of a penalty shot. Then the Coyotes completed the backbreaking swing for the Hawks, when Clayton Keller tied the score 2-2 with a goal from the slot at 18-14. Christian Fisher put the Coyotes on the board in the first period, when his attempted pass deflected off the stick of Hawks defenseman Jordan Esterl, and threw the legs of goalie Corey Crawford 7:47 into the game. But the Hawks wasted little time in responding. On a power play, Richard Panic got a stick on a Jonathan Toad's shot for his fifth goal of the season at 8:48. Patrick Kane scored on a breakaway in the second period with a nice backhand forehand move to make it 2-1 at 11.32. Wingels finished the scoring with an empty netter. Blackhawks 4, Coyotes 2. Photos from the Blackhawks-Coyotes game on Saturday, October 21, 2017, in Glendale, Arizona. Was it poetic justice that God got him the goal after he had been denied on penalty shot? Yeah. The hockey gods kind of repay you I think, the veteran said. Nice to get that one at the end there. Our line battled pretty hard, and I think we got better as the game went on, and we found a way to contribute. As with Bauma, it was Wingel's first goal as a hawk. Coyotes defenseman Nicholas Jalmarsen, in his first game against his former team, registered four blocked shots and a shot on goal.